So uh, change of plans, everybody. Uh, we were we were in the middle of toy hunting. You know, we were at the Funko store. I got a Funko. Uh, so tomorrow we were gonna hang out with uh, Johnny Montal, uh producer of Rise the Beast, the score. Uh, amazing. Um, we're all like. Well, he just let us know that he invited us to his studio right now. I I I'm I am literally freaking out right now. I don't know what to think. My brain. What? My father. So this is happening. Yeah, one more street farther. So this is happening. Are you uh? You good? I I can't think right now. I can't. I can't tell me. Dude, he's invited us to the studio. I'm. I'm a music guy. I can't. I am. Yeah, and he's a musician, Dude, so I, I know that. I know what this means. I'm recording my videos. Was sideways. inspired by Jablonski's Optimus score. Like, Let's like, go. like this line happened. in the franchise. Like, I can't. And he's a major transformer. Dude, man. I can't I comprehend this so right now. That's why I'm pretty quiet. So you guys are just seeing them. <laughs> oh my god! I, I immediately thought about Jake when he said this. I'm genuinely so, so confused right now. This is like, like we're about 16 minutes out. Oh, and so really, really um, home. So yeah, the toy hunt. I don't know. We got McDonald's at home. Well, so I'm into, I don't know what's gonna happen. Yeah, I don't know either. But. Who knows what's gonna happen? Wow. I'm um. Come along the journey. I'm lost for words. Oh my god! I'll see you guys there. Maybe I. Hey, how you doing? Hi, this is, Dude, this is the bon bon guy. Doing good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice to meet you. That's Jimmy. It's nice Jimmy, to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. Oh. Yeah, all right. As a matter of fact, I've seen, listened to his stuff. He sent it to me, and also he did the, the image for us. Yes, he did. He sure did. did. That's, That's right. Exactly. So of course, he's, he's, he's absolutely good. Yeah, he's gonna listen to right now. Listen, Jake. Thanks, man. I appreciate all the stuff you did. Yeah. The images, yeah. the music, everything. Yeah. Thank you. And you're also driving a big ass car. I am. <laughs> wow. wow. Oh, yeah, this is amazing. Happen every now and then. Wow. You know, it's a beautiful this is... setup. I love yeah. all the Transformers you got decked out. Oh, we got Transformers. Oh, yes, man. Let's go. Over there. there we go. Make sure. Transformers. I'm being watched over. That's yeah. awesome, man. There we go. So, no, I, I, I built this whole space, set it up myself, you know. I used to do a That's lot of tech work for composers. Wow. Yes. Oh, okay. I did a lot of tech work. I worked for all the great A-list composers, and yes. I stole all their secrets. <laughs> right. Beautiful. It's part so, of the game. We do some reviews, eh? Yes. So now this is basically where I ended up working. Uh, you know, when we did Transformers Rise of the Beast, I was not here. I was on the lot at Paramount. Right. Right okay. next to Steven and people. Yeah. Uh, and all the producers and Lorenzo and everybody. So we were all there together. Mm -hmm. But, you know, once the project was over they kicked me out thanks for your help thank you goodbye now so much no it's just i mean look production's got to pay for all those spaces and whatnot. yeah i understand i had to leave yeah i was sad to go so i ended up in this spot which you know is great and i'm really enjoying being here right now yeah yeah okay that's very nice you got everything lined up this guy he's familiar with studios oh oh are you okay so how do i rate no, this is fantastic. This is the best home <laughs> studio I've actually ever seen. I'm not even kidding. Like, I've been in studios, that's where I work, and this is just, yeah, this is cool. Well, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Thank you, man. It's, it's, a, it's a start. It's a start. So, you know, one day we'll make it bigger and bigger. So, I, I know you might be noticing I got Transformers on one side and, yeah. like, guns on the other. Right. Yeah. So, that makes sense. They're, they go hand in hand. Right? No, yeah. no, no, no. You, you got you got guts and you got glory. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. Distant relatives. Yeah. <laughs> no, I've got a project, a, a series for Netflix that's coming up. Um, Very nice. Where I'm going to do a whole bunch of sounds with guns and bullets oh, and this kind of stuff. Effect. Wow. Not sound effects. I'm going to make percussion sounds. Percussion out of it. sounds. Oh, yeah, so not sound that's effects. Cool. But you know, all these things make sounds. Yeah. So you know, can I kind of integrate some of these sounds like into yeah. the music? You know. Uh, so that's kind of a thought because it's actually it's a military. Oh, there's hey, man, look, I'm like, I'm just, I'm just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just no, no composer was hard. It's a BB gun. Yeah, no, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's only the orange tip. I'm just I saw the orange tip. The orange tip. You saw the orange tip. You've seen too much. Hey, man, I'm just a messenger. Y'all gotta get out of here. So, you know, we got that there. So, just trying to make, I always try and find, is there an interesting way in? Yeah, you know, right. is there something I can pull from the story or where it's shot or the characters nice. and integrate that as part of, 
you know, the score. But he's doing great. I just saw him yesterday. And, Very nice. You know, oh, that's cool. Nice. So, yeah, yeah, we're nice. tight. We've known each other forever, so. Yeah. Uh, yeah, a long, long time. A long since time. He shot uh, The Land in Cleveland, right? Even before that. Before The Land. Wow. when we were at USC. Oh, yeah, yeah, yes, yes, yes. We oh, did that. Wow. first short film out there. Yep. Uh, that's that's awesome. In 2011. Dark and, Moon era. And, yeah, and we yeah. ended up just, you know, staying together. So, and we're friends and stuff, so it's all great. So it's all awesome. great. I love that. You know, that's awesome, man. I tell you, but one of the things I really uh, enjoy in this space is these dang speakers. Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah. those are awesome. I bet you they sound amazing. Those... They do. You want to hear something on them? Oh, please. Yeah. Oh, oh, my gosh. Let's, let's please. rock let's, the house. Let's, let's do yeah. this. <laughs> Close that door, please. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. Yeah. Maximum yeah. effect, baby. Here we go. Oh, there's seats. I didn't realize that. We can sit down. We can sit down. We can sit up. Go ahead, guys. Are the walls also lined with acoustic, or is it just the panels here? Or what are these? So mm -hmm. the paneling is really for reflections, so okay. yeah. you get an accurate sense of what's coming out of the speakers. Because mm -hmm. right. you know, there's two parts to sort of audio. Obviously, you want to have speakers, but if yeah. you don't have the room yeah. that can work with the speakers, you're in trouble. Right. So I know people in general who oh, I got a great speakers. Yes, that's true, but just doesn't have a great room. And that mm -hmm. means that you are treating it so this way you don't have a buildup of certain frequencies, specifically bass, okay. and then you also diffuse the frequencies so they spread around the room. I so these boxes here, they're diffusers, and they help spread uh, the frequencies okay. around the same thing out here. Amazing. And then behind here, you got bass traps, which soak up some of the bass. Oh, uh, wow. Way, you don't get a okay. bass buildup. That's and amazing. Then, and then a whole bunch of soft fabric around the room which again will also soak up sound. Right. You don't want yeah. the room to basically be an instrument. You want the room to be as flat as possible. Mm. Wow. And then even after then, you still have to like shoot the room and tune the speakers so this way it all ends up being as natural as possible because I want to, I want to know what's coming out of the speakers. Right. Right. I remember once I worked on uh, Creed Two. Yeah. With Lindsay Gordon. Stephen Cable, baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I didn't even and, know and that. I wrote a cue for it, and I went over to Ludwig's place to play it for Stephen and this and that. And I had a baby set of speakers. Mm -hmm. When I went to Ludwig's place, which obviously was like amazingly decked out, there were all these bass frequencies I couldn't hear. Right. Mm -hmm. And I was so embarrassed because the cue did not sound the way that I intended it to. Right. right. And it was super muddy and it was boomy and all this stuff. And I was like, never again. I it have to really, mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it does. I have to invest in the right equipment and the right space, and this is what you want to do. Oh. Was there any... Um, was, and you guys can have questions, too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, I already interviewed this guy. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all can have this exchange. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, I just was, um, I am curious, was there any like practice you've done for Rise of the Beast in here? I didn't do any like official recording, but was there any like um, like you know pieces of work that you might have done, maybe practicing or like... Okay, like so in this room? Right. not in this room. Again, I wasn't here. Oh, you wasn't here. Okay, but I will tell you this: when I um, w heard about Rise of the Beast mm -hmm. and they had just tapped Stephen, I had to do a demo. Yeah, right? right. I had to write some music because I didn't have anything in my repertoire that was really at the level that Transformers requires. I mm -hmm. So I ended up going out and like worked with a bunch of people to you know create something. And I can actually play for you guys, you know, some of those pieces of the demo. Oh, wow. This has been unreleased. No one has heard this stuff. Is wow. this something we, uh, we have to censor? Yeah, do no, you don't have to censor. Okay, so we can okay. have this out. Okay. You can have this out. You can have this out. This is... um, so I ended up writing um, a piece of, piece of music that represented sort of Autobots. Yeah. Right. Uh, which ended up... Being, being the, the beginning of the theme yep. for the Autobots. And then I also wrote some initial ideas for Unicron and Scourge. Ooh. Neither Ooh. one of those made it into the film. Because they probably wanted to integrate. The, well, the just not just that. No, 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 not that nope. as much. It, there was some of that. But it's okay. also, you know, this was before I knew anything. This was oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This yeah, was yeah, before I read the scenes. story. I didn't oh, see the script. Before, before they shot anything. Like uh, Rub okay. Drag. This is like, okay. Rub drag. this is yeah. Stephen telling me, here's what we want to do. Yeah. Like, and then saying, okay, write some music. Okay. Right? That sounds like Transformers. Transformers, yeah. Right. And, you know, obviously I spent a lot of time enjoying, you know, the scores that Steve Jablonski did. Yeah. Uh, Listen to all those again and again and again. Jablonski's Grew up awesome. with those. He's yeah. amazing, right? So I was like, how the heck am I going to do anything that even approaches, <laughs> you know, that, the level that, that of measure. The that standard, measure. Yeah. That's standard, right? That's standard. How am I going to do that? But, you know. 
Why did I realize? We love, realize we love to score, man. I did. So, well, thank you. No, but this is actually before score. any of that, man. This yeah. is like way early. Yeah. But you know, I realized you gotta bet on yourself. Yeah. Right. Right. If you True. bet on yourself, you're probably gonna have the best return. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. I like that. Because that should be like on a plaque. <laughs> <laughs> if you bet on yourself, you're gonna have. The Can best you just return. put that on the back of my shirt, real quick? <laughs> <laughs> you don't need that's all. It's 2024. I mean, I like that. I like that. It's so true. So, because you know, it's your resources, your time. So I bet on myself. I said, you know what? This is my opportunity. Let me see what I can do. Yeah. So right. let me see what I have here. Um. And Probably something completely peaked. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Oh, we'll absolutely. find out. It might be. It might not be so great. <laughs> uh, I'm just trying to find the actual um, oh demo files here that I have here. Where are they? Uh, no. Oh wait, here it is. So here's what sort of Prime uh, One, which ended up being. Oh wait, here it is. This one up here. Oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. Oh, my gosh. Let me see if I can find. Oh, here it's no, this one up here. I gotta find the right version because there's so many versions. Yeah. With you know various cut downs and mixing. I'm glad you still have all this. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Go ahead, I gotta find the right versions. Here we go. Here we go. I was thinking that this does. did as well. Yeah, well yes. Well deserved. well deserved. Literally. And of course, in every transfer, they have something a little heisty. Oh, yeah. Right? Right. Here comes a little, my little heist section. Uh, uh, yeah.
hear it in there. That's yeah. Really, okay, I'll take it a little bit. Wow. This is a passion for us. So, yeah. like, Seriously. Yeah. when we see new projects arise like this with so much effort, first of all, attention to detail, attention to lore, mm. attention to care, you know, because we've had certain projects in the past where we've gotten a lot of one thing but not the other. Right. This was a balance. balance. It was a so really that's what balance. We appreciate about it. That's why we reciprocate the love because it's not very common. Right. And hopefully this creates a new a new going start forward new where right. that becomes the new common right. if that's a word. Commonality. Yeah. <laughs> 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 the new standard. Yeah, the new standard. The new standard. standard. Yeah. The standard. Yeah. Yeah. That's that a tough question. question. It's a good question. Mm -hmm. That is. That's a good <sighs> still my question, man. Um, I was gonna ask what his favorite school. It's all good. So the two that popped my mind right away are the village and arriving in Peru. Ooh. Yeah, arriving in mm -hmm. Peru is with all those 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 custom yes um, the, like like the taco flute and all that correct mm -hmm. with all of that and the thing that I'm most proud about on arriving in Peru is you know people from South America and Peru says I hear myself in this music mm -hmm. right I hear my culture in this music and I look I'm not Peruvian right but I spent time finding the people uh, who are Peruvian who know this music spending time trying to study it a little bit again not. I would call myself, never call myself an expert. But, you know, I spent some time reading, studying, trying to envelop myself into this music so that this way it could be represented appropriately. And, you know, when people from that culture say, I hear myself, right? That's what really elevates it for me because that was the purpose. And then for people to say, I hear myself in a Transformers movie. That's even, yeah. as you would say, peak, right? So it's kind of like, that was that's for one. And then the second would be, again, the village. Just because I really enjoy the storytelling. It's a long queue, uh, but there's a lot of storytelling. In it. There's a lot of information that we get in that sequence of the movie uh, about the history of the Maximals and the yeah. key and understanding Prime's motivation, right? versus Optimus Primal's motivation, uh, and then them sort of butting heads a little bit, but then coming together to talk about, and then we hear them more than meets the eye for the first time, right? I thought that I was mean, nice. There's a lot, they... exactly, yeah. right? Because yeah. it's not like Prime showed up here being super noble. Yeah, right. right? Mm -hmm. he, he had, had a to, journey as well. To, yeah. right. Yes. Yeah. Right? And that's what I thought was special, and that's why I loved that cue, because, you know, it starts out again with sort of like this epic... Um, uh, South Asia, South American music, again, still in the Transformers world, 
but then we sort of go into the storytelling right you know after that and if you listen to it there's a lot of handoff between melodies and instruments and it's all sort of very intricately crafted i mean i spent a long time trying to pull it all together yeah. so yes it's not the biggest epic you know track on the soundtrack but it's i think the one that's very intricate and detailed it is and it really sort of tells again the story and i'm sure most of a lot of the effort went into that one because of uh, all the because you you had like legendary musicians like come out of retirement that's right you up. that's right. correct and so <laughs> that's you know like, like you said it's just a detail um that's that's interesting that's one of the beautiful things about the <clears throat> soundtrack i've been listening to the soundtrack since i was a kid like oh, uh, oh, yeah. jablonski hans zimmer mm -hmm. uh, williams and there's so much story you can express in music, especially yes, there with is. like instrumental percussion mm -hmm. and using non-traditional like sounds and stuff to make music. It's like one of the best things I've ever seen. Music is what really makes the scenes it does. all yeah. nice. like what, what they are. I like what you said like, in the interview. You said music. Um, you remember what I said in the interview? I do. He does. <laughs> I do. I eat this up, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I do. You actually, remember? Wow. Okay. You said. Music is there to confirm what you see. Yes, not, I did say that. That's, wow. And that's, and that's that, exactly. Absolutely. That's that is it. 100%. Yeah. Yeah. And without that, it can completely shift it. That's what we love so much about Jablonski, because yeah. every single scene mm -hmm. completely matched. And that's what we love about this score, mm -hmm. is every scene matched. Especially Scourge. You can feel the, like that. You get his emotion, the chill, his motive, right? You know, the coldness in that, and like, dude, Scourge. Yes. Yeah. It'll make or break a film because I've seen films that are visually beautiful, but yeah. then the soundtrack is like, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the immersion is broken. I don't really connect with the characters as much because like their elite motif or something isn't really like right. kind of putting that point down. Right. So it it totally, right. it's so important. And the it's funny so thing is, important. you know, as an audience member, you're obviously keen into movie making and music, and so you pay attention to those things. Mm -hmm. You know, it's working, but you know. 90% of the people that watch these movies, they don't see that. Mm -hmm. They don't make the connection. Because again, you just want to be immersed in the story. Yeah, you just want to watch yeah. a You want to watch cool a great movie. movie. <laughs> and But these are all the things that we have to think about so that this way you can have that experience. Because mm -hmm. you said you've watched things before where they're not that level of craft and detail around it for whatever reasons. Yeah. Right, for whatever reasons. Um, but it failed then to connect to you. Exactly. Yeah. Right, so... It is important that we spend this attention to detail and this and that, and we focus on like getting the motifs in and mm -hmm. the themes that work, right? And that's the craft of what we do. And you know, I always love it. And one thing I always try and tell myself is like, what's the interesting choice? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, you can make so many choices, but what's the one that's going to be interesting? What's going to be yeah. the, the the ear grabber? Yeah. What's yeah. Gonna yeah. That? Or, or it's going to surprise somebody yeah. in some way, right? Yeah. That's not conventional. Mm -hmm. So I try and focus on those kind of things. And challenge myself personally and say, okay, I did this thing, but is that interesting? Is it is is this gonna surprise anybody? No, throw it out and start it again. So, dude, first of all, thank you for letting us hear that. That was, that was yeah, that was yes. Oh. That Autobots theme, especially, dude. That that was that, is really that could good. be still used. I'm that surprised is that really good. Just stay there. <laughs> what? What's that? that was amazing. Dude, I got chill well, like when you like when it first because I knew it. I knew the melodies you used. Right. Because you similar. I don't know. J right. Jake knows how to make music. I don't know how to do this. <laughs> I just listen. Y'all fantastic. Oh, Same. Thank you, guys. Thank you. So, Nick, we appreciate you, man. Well, thank you, guys. Yes, for thank you so I'm glad. I'm really kind we, of you. Seriously. No, no, no. It was my pleasure. You made the time to come see me, so. Yeah. That's the I, important thing. What's I, up, I, Hey, what's oh. up? <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, yeah. I, uh, what were we doing before? I, I totally forgot. We were... <laughs> yeah, we were in Hollywood. I, I don't remember what we were doing. Yeah. It doesn't matter now, actually. No, no. It's, no, it's, it's, no, it's no, not no, important. I just... I We're hanging out with with, with the right hand man of Stephen Gable Jr. over here. Yeah. Well, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. For thank you for coming by, having us. Like, yes, sir. Gracing me with your presence. Yeah, you know of what course. I'm Seriously, and thank you, Jake, so much for everything because oh, the images, you know, yeah. music. Thank you, man. Dude, of course, yeah. Appreciate thank you. Thank you so thank much. You. Thank, thank you for making you such amazing music. Ah, oh, thank, awesome. thank you for listening. It's awesome. Because listen, you know? yeah. if no one listens, what's the point of like making the music? That, that, <laughs> is, that, true. that is true. So I appreciate. I don't make it for myself to sit here by myself and be like, oh, I'm so great. Thank you, man. Yeah. That's stupid. So it's for you guys. Yeah. Did you remember that? Of course I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. We say that joke all the time. I literally made a joke saying, "Oh, when I meet him, I just gotta go." Boom. 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 Boom.
<laughs> yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah. And then I sent it to Steven, and now he joins me all the time. He's like, yes, oh, I, I know you. You sent it to Steven. Wait, did he do it too? You told me. I saw Toby and Wake Boy saw it too. And, and Tobe said the same Toby's thing. Are y'all in the group yeah. chat or something? Yeah, I know we are. That's so funny. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 they make fun of me. So thanks, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's so, so good to know. That's so Man, funny. So Let's see, see so how dumb we are. This is what we have. But look, this is oh, what we have. Oh, wait. Yeah, okay, tell you what. Okay, what's up? Oh, I should play y'all one last thing. Yes. Oh? Yes. Okay. All right. Yes. I, I don't know why I didn't think about this before, but it is the hopefully soon to be released. Um, <gasps> huh? Is it what I think it is? No, just have a seat. Like, it's oh, what I think it is. Okay. I, 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 this requires the couch. Have a seat. Have a seat. Have a seat. Nick, you, you want to... All right, hold on one second. Let me get it all queued up right. Got to go to my right folder. So many folders. Wait. Oh, no, we, we understand. You do yeah. a lot of folders and stuff. A lot, <laughs> a lot, of, <laughs> folders. A lot of folders. Oh, my God! We know it! We do it! We do it! We do it. It's about to go down on God. It's about to go down on God. It's about to go down on God. It's about to go down. I need the smoke. And I'll build you a fire to burn my desire. Let's go, Johnny. Burn my desire. I'm a soul, everybody in the click strap, and they all are go. Know the end of plenty from the hole. Incredible. You know, to hear I... the first time in the sound studio oh, that's right. is actually, another oh, yeah. thing. That's right. Dude. So, so, wow. You said soon to be released? We're working on it still. Working on still it. Still working on it. Working There's on a lot it. of players okay. involved. Take... Make sure everybody's okay. Yeah. Understood. But just know that the music is ready. Yeah. It's been queued up, master, ready to go. We're just getting a couple more. Oh, that I will wait as long as That's amazing. I know it's been <laughs> so long. I know it's been so long, but we are still working on it. Oh, it's going to be worth it. It's worth it. be censored? No, you can put that up. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. awesome, okay, awesome. Okay, 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 awesome. Like that, that, like that, that was, uh... No, I, it was so quiet, I don't even know if y'all heard when he was pulling the faucet, I went... Because <gasps> I realized what he was about. I was like, oh my god, it's the, it's the theatrical version. Because I told him, and then he told him, and then he told him. I didn't hear that they were saying that at the very end of it. I didn't hear it either, just all of the... Yeah, I mean, yeah. Come on, we had sound effects. Oh yeah, there's so much going on. 
Scourge is getting like decapitated. <laughs> <laughs> there's, no, there's no space for that. Yeah, Poor Peter Dinklage, man. yeah exactly. So you know, that is beautiful. That's so, awesome. Yeah, there's, thank you for that. A lot of detail in that. Thank you for that. Here, that's yeah. why we really want to get it out there because yeah. we worked really hard on that track. We worked I, really oh, hard. Sure. It's, it's amazing. amazing. That was a beautiful awesome. blend. And what a I love battle it. Battle perfectly too. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, it, was it a nice, did. Like, blend of hip, but yes. also like oh that, that man, the first time I heard that, I was going insane. My seat, like going oh. <laughs> yeah, what the heck is this? I saw it in 40X. What is this? What is this? That stays at the hotel. No ever, oh, that, is, <laughs> that version, though, I, I personally, I think that version it has like way more to it. Like, oh, I love the, yes. the, the movie theatrical. That's what the fans have been asking yeah. for so long. I know, I know. Well, this, so. is, well, this is ripped from what's in the movie. Yeah. It's no, just, correct. again, you know, you have so many other competing sound things happening. Yeah. Right. right. So, you know, it's all in there. Just yeah. tucked down. Yeah. So now you can actually have it just, like, in its full glory. Oh, all full the display. stuff up, right? All the faders are up. Let's in go. this version. Oh, and you can so, hear it, too. And, and oh. Yeah. Yeah. So and so that's good. why soundtracks are so important, because... Yes, in the movie they're important because they tell the story. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But there's so much that you really can't pay attention to while yeah. you're watching the movie. Right. Very nice. Right. So going back to listen to it on the soundtrack is really edifying for me and great, yeah. you know, very gratifying for me because there is a lot of detail mm -hmm. right. that goes in there that gets missed yeah. while you're watching the movie because yeah. there's so much stuff going on. Yeah, you're focused on, you know, the foreground. You're focused on like yeah. being immersed yeah. in right. the story, yeah. right? right. Your no, your visual processing can only take so much, so these kind of don't really capture everything else. That's like, right. right. Every time I see a big film, I go to the soundtrack. You like, got to the soundtrack. I just saw yeah. the uh, Dune 2 and oh. immediately went to the soundtrack. Oh yeah, I always That's do that after night. movies. For me, tomorrow night. Yep. I won't say anything. So, I it's good. It's good. I, it. I, heard, I, heard it's, I haven't seen it either. So. It's good. Okay. I've, I've never it. even I seen the first one. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of want to see it again already. It's oh, okay. really good. It's all right. really good. Johnny, you're a legend. Listen, Johnny, yes. yes. Legend, I really man. appreciate all you guys for showing up. You know what I'm saying? Seriously. Thank you so much. Because without you, we wouldn't have Transformers. Without you, we wouldn't have a good soundtrack. Yeah. Thank you again, Johnny. This is amazing. Absolutely. Ball guy right here. Ball this guy. <laughs> oh my gosh, good oh, seeing man. you. Good seeing right. you too. Absolutely. Thanks for coming. You want to grab a picture? Oh, oh yeah, sure. Pick, pick, a pick. You all felt the love and the craft. And, and I definitely did. Oh, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, and the God. journey of the franchise and the journey of the score. You yeah. Know? We want to make sure we paid homage to how we got here. Yeah, Absolutely. Unicron theme, and then you know some of the stuff from Jablonski, dude. To all the one. Yes, to all the one. You know, you all, and humans. That's one of my favorite ones. Oh, I didn't tell you. I gotta tell you this before we go. In the theater, the Brooklyn, the uh, the King's yeah. Theater, when Humans and Autobots United played, because I wasn't expecting it. Because uh, you sent me the score early, right? I did. But I didn't listen to all of it. Oh, you didn't. I listened to like Mirage and like some of the others, but uh, like the big ones, Final Battle Begins. I want to wait. You are okay. And I did hear it for the first time in the movie. When that played, Human All's by United, I literally was fighting tears like, right yeah. next to you. Oh because that, that oh theme gosh. is like my favorite from Jablonski. Of course. And I didn't think, I thought you were going to have some inspiration of his, his, his theme. Mm -hmm. I didn't think you were going to remake it, like yeah. do a whole yeah. new rendition. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I love this blend. Yeah. I, 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 I cried. Yeah, I, oh my gosh. Yeah, I teared up. I as soon as Talar 1 1 prattled through him and then it arrived to Earth, like, yeah. oh, big time. I yeah, mean, really it was like, time. oh my gosh. Yeah. It was beautiful. Yeah, no, seriously. <laughs> seriously. Yeah. Well, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. No. <laughs> thank you. No. Oh my gosh. But I love this. The, the gratitude is mutual. It yeah. is mutual. Yes. Because again, I wouldn't be here without you. Yeah. Right? And I'm glad that I, that we created something that is worthy of your loving it. Yes. You know, can confirm. Can confirm. Yeah. Yeah. Never been to a Comic Con. It's never a, been to a, any con. No, it's, it's, con at all. it's a lot of people. It'll be a lot of people. Lot of I'm people. excited. Yes. I'm excited. Well, we're excited so, to have it. Can, yes. can we buy you something? No. no. Absolutely. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, you know what? I will never turn down a figure. A Transformers. Figure. What is Bingo. your favorite Bingo. Transformer? Yeah. Figure? Yeah. Who's your favorite Transformer? I mean, of course, it's Optimus Prime. It's my man. It's my man. My man. Don't eat bones off by me. We got him in the prime game. Uh, do you like figures that transform? Or I do like figures that transform. Okay. okay. I like figures that transform. Do you have Series 102 Prime? No, I don't. Very nice. Thank I you for letting me know. Don't have <laughs> it. No, I don't have Series 102 now. No. Um, <clears throat>
So, Paramount Hasbro didn't give you all the new the figures? Y'all worked on the movie. What right. is happening? Well, it's not. It's Hasbro. It's Hasbro. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, Hasbro, you out there watching? Yeah. 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 <laughs> you ain't giving us nothing, Hasbro. Go and say. Go and say. Yeah, I ain't got nothing, baby. Give my gift box. Yeah. See how Franzo Nation getting big gift box. Oh! Don't shoot the messenger, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just I'm, just I'm just a messenger. You send him figure all the time. I'm, the fact that you saw SLA. <laughs> all, all the unboxings. I'm like, yo, it's like the big crate. Like the big crate and everything. Yeah. yeah. The movie Rise of the Beast. I was like, I got nothing. That's amazing. That's, I, well, literally how? How does that happen? I, no, that. That's all right. Can't anyway, away without that being fixed. Well, we're going to correct a little bit of it. Yeah, yeah I appreciate yeah. you guys taking care of me then, okay? Yeah, absolutely. So, Optimus Prime, I'll figure it out. Yeah, yeah. Find Optimus, Optimus Prime. Oh, you ain't got to ask me twice. <laughs> <laughs> That's my boy. <laughs> From back in the click. Yeah, right. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Jenny, right, we'll guys, head out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Appreciate you guys. We can hang out all day, but I got work to do. Yes, it is. I got work to do. I got work. You have a great day. You're busy cooking. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you have a good one, man. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah. Eleven tomorrow, ideally. Eleven tomorrow. Or, or eleven thirty-ish, whatever. Yeah, whatever. We'll be there probably all day. I'll send you a message or whatever. Let's go my way, all right? Okay. Thank no you problem. Trouble, okay? All right. <laughs> Thank you, Jonix. Thank, Thank you so much. Have a good one. Thank you to all the one. To all the one, buddy. All the one, yeah. Uh, that was one of the biggest the honors of my life. Up the whole time. Yeah, so my phone looks not. Dark. I'm glad to be a part of this, brother. Thank, By the way, like, that's a big problem. I got all of your guys' reaction. Oh my like, god! All that. My hand at some points you might have seen it was shaking. Not too bad. Like I stopped it, but like yeah, there I were times where I was as like, as much of your guys' reaction as possible. So I'll send that later. Um, I got like. I'm not gonna lie, but that was better than the 07 tour. Yeah. Um, no, I, no, actually, yeah, wait, that crushed it. 07 what? We toured the essence of Rise of the Beast. Yeah. yeah like, uh, and got the, yeah. the unreleased trucks. We got the I, full theatrical version. Yeah. No, no, no. I knew he was doing that! Like, oh like, my God. Uh, I like no sound effects, no uh, dialogue, the yeah, full just, cut. The full. We are the first to hear that, right? Yeah. yeah. First yeah. fans? Yeah. Well, the first in his so, studio. <laughs> even in his, but like, that's. And we heard unreleased and never gonna be released versions of the Autobot score and the Scourge theme. Mm hmm. And then we heard the full theatrical version of On My Soul. That, uh, I sort of, gonna happen. Dude, he said I'm the bum bum guy. Yeah, <laughs> the bum bum guy. Our bum bum is what Stephen Cable Jr. teases him with now. Right. Because of our stupidity. He told me right. thanks, man, they make fun of me now. <laughs> I've, I've wanted Jonique, to make a like, Stephen Cable like, makes Toby fun of Jonique because of me. Toby and Wigway. Because of it, like, what? Toby and Wigway and Stephen Cable Jr. teases Jonique Bontemps. With that, because of our stupid little like like live stream moment, we we have made an impression in their lives. What is happening? That is so funny. That's so funny because we're dumb. We don't expect any of that right. to have any kind of impact. Right, bro. I'm just a guy. Janique, from the bottom of my heart and from all of the entourage. Yes. yes. Thank, thank you for watching. Thank you, you. Thank you. Thank you. so you're much. Absolutely incredible. Thank you. you Your work is phenomenal. I, I'm yeah. sorry if I couldn't get a lot out in there because I was like kind of freaking out on the inside, but. I I don't know how much you are incredible, video, but I'm probably dude. On my it soul. Just how did you know, I, I, dude? How did you uh, know? Be, I knew because I remember the post that he made. Like, oh, let's get it pushed. Let's let the fans want it, and I I want it so bad. I love it. I I literally will go to the movie on Apple TV when I'm driving, play that last part just so I can hype to that, just so I can hype to that version. So when he was like, oh, why didn't I think of this? And he started pulling stuff up. That is the first thing that popped in my ma my <gasps> mind, and oh my god! And then I told you, and then you and told, told Jake, Jake, and then Jake told Alfonso, and, and then the second I heard it play, I was like, ah! Oh! Sorry. Yeah, we all were like, oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god. And then when he started, I was like, and you know, oh, I, I oh, gave it to you. This game of telephone, like literally. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot yeah. about TFCon. Oh my god, we're here for oh, TFCon. That's right. What's, uh, what's TFCon? I need to what? go sleep for like the next eight hours. That's amazing. Oh, that's awesome. You said you Us from 07. Oh, getting him to sign. Back in Orlando. So Camaro Beach just gave us eggs. Grimlock. King.